as such it is the second most common type of intracranial hemorrhage first is cerebral or parenchymal hemorrhage it is the second most type, common type of intracranial hemorrhage most common cause of sh is trauma always remember most common cause of sh it is trauma however most common cause of spontaneous or non traumatic sh is berry aneurysm rupture very commonly asked question most common cause of spontaneous sh it is berry aneurysm rupture coming to the clinical features these we are discussing about spontaneous sh first is headache headache is in sh is characteristic it has certain names like thunder clap worst headache of life very severe headache so headache classic questions use words like thunder clap headache worst headache of life and very severe headache this is associated with loss of consciousness neck rigidity vomiting etc so the classic feature is headache which can be thunder clap worst headache of life or very severe headache loss of consciousness neck rigidity vomiting these are the classic features point to be noted tersen syndrome this is one entity in which there is vitreous hemorrhage in a patient with sh vitreous hemorrhage in a patient with sh that is tersen syndrome this is a important point which you should remember moving on the investigation of choice primary investigation of choice is a nccct scan which will show us the bleed and the location of the bleed if nccct is equivocal then a lumbar puncture to detect xanthochromia lumbar puncture to detect xanthochromia it can be used for confirmation always lumbar puncture in sh is to be differentiated from traumatic tap traumatic tap is presence of blood due to the procedure the lumbar puncture Uh, injury to some of the vessels while doing a lumbar puncture can result in a traumatic tap and blood in the CSF. So these two needs to be differentiated. Traumatic lumbar puncture and SH. So firstly, the RBC count declines. as csf drains while in sh it remains almost constant that is in a traumatic lp the csf tends to clear as more and more csf is drained while in sh it remains the color it is 
सुपर नाइटेंट सुपर नाइटेंट फ्लूड इज द रेसिडुअल फ्लूड आफ्टर द क्लॉट सेटल्स डाउन इट इज यूजली क्लियर इन ट्रॉमेटिक टाइम वाइल इन एस एच इट इज जानथोक्रोमिक द क्लॉटिंग ट्रॉमेटिक एल पी द ब्लड इज फ्रेश एंड यूजली क्लॉट्स वाइल इन एस एच देर इज नो क्लॉटिंग ऑफ ब्लड ओपनिंग प्रेशर ओपनिंग प्रेशर इज द इनिशियल प्रेशर वी गेट वंस वी स्टार्ट डूइंग दी एल पी सो इन ट्रॉमेटिक एल पी इट इज यूजली नॉर्मल और लो वाइल इन एस एच इट इज यूजली हाई सो दीज आर द डिफ्रेंशिएटिंग फीचर्स बिटवीन ट्रॉमेटिक लंबर पंक्चर एंड एन सी एस एफ इन एस एच द आर बी सी काउंट इन ट्रॉमेटिक लंबर पंक्चर कंटिन्यूज टू डिक्लाइन एज द सी एस एफ ड्रेन वाइल इन एस एच इज इट रिमेन्स द सेम द सुपर नेटर्न फ्लूड इन ट्रॉमेटिक लंबर पंक्चर इज क्लियर वाइल इन एस एच इट इज जानथोक्रोमिक द ट्रॉमेटिक एल पी इट यूजली क्लॉट्स वाइल देर इज नो क्लॉटिंग इन अ सी एस एफ ऑफ एस एच एंड द ओपनिंग प्रेशर इज नॉर्मल और लो इन ट्रॉमेटिक लंबर पंक्चर वाइल इट इज हाई इन सबेरक्नोइड हिमरिच so as stated earlier investigation of choice primarily ncct to diagnose the site of bleed as most of the cases of spontaneous ssh most common cause is uh, rupture of a uh, berry aneurysm so to find out the site and type of aneurysm uh, various investigations are there the definitive ones these include ct angiography second is a uh, digital subtraction angiography third is mr angiography ct angiography is cheap and fast and so it is the most commonly used mr angiography can also be used dsa has the advantage that it can it be both diagnostic and therapeutic at the same time if an aneurysm is found found during a dsa its coiling can be done by endovascular method that is why dsa is both diagnostic as well as therapeutic now treatment if it is traumatic sh mostly conservative management spontaneous we go for the above investigations any one of the above ct angiography dsa mr angiography uh, if these are negative then again we have to manage conservatively if an aneurysm is found then we have to treat accordingly either we can go for endovascular ablation scular coiling or surgical clipping of the aneurysm always remember four vessel intra arterial digital subtraction angiography is the gold standard for the identification of aneurysm very important please remember